This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. In this demonstration, we'll take a look at different search engines and something known as search providers. Search engines give us the ability to utilize the Internet to find answers for just about anything. The Internet is known as the communications highway, and it, uh, it is remarkable uh, almost astonishing in a lot of cases how much information is available just at the click of a button. Well, that information is only available because of search engines. Now, let's take a look and I think it uh, would be applicable for us to just open up Google Chrome since Google is one of the main search engines, the most common search engines for us to use. Now, it's gone into iGoogle, so let me just switch back to the classic home. Uh, a Google search and the, the word Google is really synonymous with searching at this point, although it's certainly not the only search engine that you have. We have Ask.com and AltaVista and Dogpile.com and Yahoo and MSN and Bing and all these other search engines, but the most common phrase to hear somebody say is, well, I'm just going to Google it. And, and it's just because it's an extremely powerful search engine. You know, you want to know a recipe for uh, chocolate chip cookies? then search for a recipe for chocolate chip cookies. And it very quickly will categorize all your results. It will even rate them and show you different links, give you thumbnail uh, photos, and you can then click on those in order to get uh, that information. You want uh, driving directions. Okay, driving directions uh, to Disney World. Right. And all of a sudden, you know, again, very quickly, in fact, it was doing that as I was typing, uh, and then here's where, where it's going to find. Now, that may not be the best way to get driving directions because we've got Google Maps or Bing Maps, but, but the point is, is you can type just about anything uh, about or, or in there. Okay, so Tampa uh, Bay Rays News. You know, something like that, and then we get the information. Now, I, you know, search engines have come a long way. I don't really even need to type anymore. I, I'm sorry, I don't even need to hit enter anymore. As I type, it's automatically searching and categorizing the results, and it's doing so very, very quickly. Uh, and so we've got a lot of uh, advantages here. Now, if you don't like that, you can actually turn the instant off. It does that in most web browsers, possibly not all. Okay, if I turn that off, then as I type, you know, I actually have to hit enter. Let me back up because I have two options here. All right, so we're going to go back to our recipes. Chili recipe. I can hit Google search, which is the default if I just hit enter, or I can hit I'm feeling lucky. And okay, let me hit Google search first because we'll see what the first options are. Okay, and then I'll hit I'm feeling lucky, and it will automatically, well actually it takes me to a new page here, and then it's going to automatically take me to the first web page returned in my query. Okay, um, so which it didn't seem to, to work very well. Let's go back again. A chili recipe, and then I'm feeling lucky, and there we go. Okay, so it did not the sponsored link, but it took me to the very first link on the search uh, originally. So you can do that. I mean, that's, you know, I personally don't like to do that because I like to see all the results. Sometimes what you've searched for, it may show up, you know, just, just different, uh, different ways. And so you can kind of tell sometimes by the name of a site. Uh, whether or not it really matches what you were searching for. Now again, is that the only search? No. Bing.com is becoming very, very popular. Uh, it's going to do many of the many of the same things. You know, it's going to fill in. It's going to fill in your information for you. It may very well look at that. Provide the exact same site. That's its first hit. It's going to have ratings and thumbnails and and things. You know, so. You certainly do have uh, different options. Now, the search providers, we're going to close Chrome and enter, open up Internet Explorer. So they all have search providers, but we'll look at it this way. By default, it's Bing. And so the search provider is up here in the search bar. 
uh, if I search for comics, uh, let's see, daily comics, and then I get my, my entries here, but it's doing a Bing search. Now, if I want to find additional, I can go find more search providers and try to connect. Now, what it should do is locate different search providers for me. Hmm, let's go manage search providers, and we're going to click find more. Uh, and we've been having a problem with this add-on, but what that should do is give me the ability to choose another provider. Okay. All, all I will just have to describe it, and we'll use Firefox, because all that's really going to do is uh, provide me, when I click this arrow, with additional options, and it lets me switch back and forth. We'll use Firefox. That functionality in, in Internet Explorer is just having a problem. In Firefox, you've already gotten many loaded in, but you can also manage your own search engines. For instance, Bing is not uh, in uh, the list, and so we can just click Get More Search Engines. It will make the connection uh, to Firefox and, and then say, okay, these are the ones that you can, uh, you can look for. And they may not have a, a, a Bing tool, so if you want to search for that, you can. Uh, it's possible that they don't. Uh, they do. Okay, so we'll go ahead and continue to download. We'll accept and install on the licensing agreement. We'll add it, and then it will add Bing into the list. Okay, if you want to search using Bing, then you choose that. If you want to manage your search options, you can click on Bing and say, you know, I want to, uh, I want to make that the uh, default. Okay. All right, so that's the point, and this is what it would look like in Internet Explorer. That's the point of a search provider. I want to search eBay right from within this for a Kindle. Uh, I want to uh, then do that same search, but I want to do it on Amazon. And just hit enter, and then you'll be doing the search on a different website. And so it's very beneficial. It makes it very quick and easy to search. Search providers really are built into all of uh, the major web browsers. You know, some may have additional add-ons, excuse me, all will have additional add-ons. Some may have different ones than others. But the point is always to have that search capability built right into the browser to make it so that you can very easily access the information that you want to find.